I am an infantry platoon leader in the New York Army National Guard, and by saying three words to you today, I am gay, those three words are a violation of Title 10 of the U.S. Code. It's a code that's polluted by the people who want us to lie, and basically they want us to lie about our identity, and it's an immoral code, and it goes up against every single thing that we were taught at West Point with our honor code. And then right after he said that, the transmission went out. His audio got cut off. We eventually were able to get Lieutenant Dan Choi back on the show the following night, and he reiterated what he had said the previous night, that as an infantryman, as a West Point grad, as an Iraq vet, he was no longer willing to lie about his sexual orientation. Lieutenant Dan Choi founded a new group of openly gay West Point graduates, and his appearance on this show apparently sparked quite a few new members and a lot of interest in the group. Now, today, we have the perhaps inevitable but still nevertheless shocking follow-up to that story. Lieutenant Choi yesterday received this letter from the Army, informing him that he is being kicked out of the military. Quote, this is to inform you that sufficient basis exists to initiate action for withdrawal of federal recognition in the Army National Guard for moral or professional dereliction. Specifically, you admitted publicly that you are a homosexual, which constitutes homosexual conduct. Hmm. Your actions negatively affected the good order and discipline of the New York Army National Guard. Back when we spoke with him in March, I asked Lieutenant Choi about the prospect that by admitting that he was gay publicly, he would get kicked out of the Army. Is there a possibility that you could lose your job, that you could be at risk of getting kicked out of the, uh, kicked out of the service because you're doing this? Of course, and just like the 12,500 soldiers that have been kicked out uh, since the 15 years of this law and policy, um, we really just find that as a group of West Point graduates, it's more important to do the right thing. Lieutenant Choi will be joining us live here in studio tomorrow night for his first television interview after being kicked out of the military for being gay. I think that interview is something you will not want to miss.